Alright, what we're going to do today is create a cutout for Second Life using GIMP. Um, first thing is open up your GIMP, go to File, Open, and wherever you saved your picture to, you're going to need to open it. Okay. Alright, once you've opened your file, go ahead and make the screen bigger you'll see that you have a layers, channels, and paths, and a toolbox. Make sure those are where you can see them. Next, you're going to want to make a new layer. Make sure it's width of 512, height of 512, and transparent. I named mine base. You're going to want that base layer completely under the background. After that, we're going to try to get rid of this extra color up here to where it's just her. So the first thing you're going to want to do easiest for me to do is I go into the background, I go to edit, copy, back to edit, and paste, and you're going to see this little thing right here come up. And when you see this, floating selection pasted layer, you're going to want to create a new layer and it's going to create what you just pasted. You can go ahead and delete the background layer. So now that we have the pasted layer, there's two different ways you can do this. These are my two different ways. There can be easier ways, but I'm not aware of them. So, take your fuzzy select, and unless your background is completely clear, you're going to get these little choppy pieces and pieces you don't want, like this piece right here, you want in the picture. So, unless you have a solid background, the easiest way is going to be using the free select. Now, you may need to zoom in. Um, I can pretty much tell where I'm cutting it at, but just completely trace the picture. Get as close to the picture as you can and make sure you don't get any of the background color in the picture at all. So once you uh -oh, completely trace it, like I said, it's easier to start with a solid background. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm going to completely circle this background because when I go to cut it, it's just going to cut the background out and not the picture that I'm wanting to save itself. So, completely cut it out. There. After you get that selected, you'll see the two lines. It's kind of moving if you look close enough. Get that selected, make sure you're on your pasted layer, go to edit, and cut, and there you'll see your apple layer in the back. And to get, before you can start anything else, you have to make sure that the lines are gone. So go back to free select, click on base, and there you go, they're gone. Now as you can see, I left some of the background in, and I gotta get rid of that because that's not good. So go back to pasted layer, make sure you're always on this layer. Um, easy way is you can lock it. If you think you're gonna be on a wrong layer, you can lock it. So I'm gonna go back to the free select, zoom into the part that still has background, and go ahead and cut the rest of that out. or edit, and cut, clear, whichever one you want to use. Okay. I'm going to do the same with this little piece right here. Okay. And cut. And then go back to pre-select because we won't be able to touch any other part of this until that little thing is gone. Okay. We still have some of the area. You just got to make sure you get all of the area, all of the background. We still have some of the area right here. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. This, edit, cut. Oh, make sure you're pasted. Edit, cut. Okay. I also see a little bit more background. 
So I'm going to go to the eraser. And just kind of get that off of there. You can kind of have a steady hand or you're completely cut it. You go to edit. If that does happen, go to edit. Undo. There you go. Just make sure you're completely steady when you do that. Okay. Then zoom the picture back out. Now that's a basic cutout. Um, you can add a few effects to it. Um, one is a soft glow. You can go to filters, artistic, soft glow. And this shows you a little bitty preview window of what's going to do. Now we don't want it that bright. So can bring it down just a little bit. Um, about 18. Um, that's 34 might not even be too bad. And then the sharpness, depending on what you want it to look like. And see that's too much. I don't like that. You can go to edit and do soft glow. But for right now we're just going to show you the basic cutout. Okay, once you get your basic cut out, um, the next thing you're going to do is upload it, or save it, and then upload it in the second line. To save this, you go to File, Save As, whatever you named it, you're going to want this to be TGA, Targo, because that's what Second Life is going to recognize. So make you have, whatever your name is, dot TGA. Save. Export, Merge Visible Layers, if that's clicked, make sure that one is, Export, and then click that, or unclick that, and then go to Top Left, and Save. And it's saved. Let's see. Okay, once you have your picture saved on GIMP, you'll need to log into Second Life, go to File, Upload, Image, now it does cost 10 lindens to upload an image, but that's just the price you got to pay. Go and find the picture that you made and upload. I already have mine uploaded, which is taking forever to load. Um, next, you can create a box and stretch it. This is what our picture is going to sit on, or take texture as. There we go. Go to texture. And find it in your inventory. There it is. Select. And there's my head out. Oh, you can see that I'm messing with the background. You always got to make sure you get all of the background out. But that's basic. That's what they're going to look like. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.